identical polynomials. Let p of x and q of x represent two polynomials. p of x is identical to q of x if p of x equals q of x for all values of x. So for example, let p of x equal x squared plus 5x plus 6 and q of x equal x squared minus 5x minus 6. Now p of x equals q of x when x equals negative 5 on 6. So that means if we substitute negative 5 on 6 into both p of x and q of x, the values of p of x and q of x will be identical only at this point though. Now p of x does not equal q of x everywhere else. So in this case, p of x is not identical to q of x because p of x does not equal q of x for all values of x, only for one in this particular example. The symbol for is identical to is the congruence symbol. So these are the, the three horizontal parallel bars. For two polynomials p of x and q of x to be identical, all corresponding terms must be identical. So for example, let p of x equal 3x squared plus 5x minus 9 and q of x equal a plus 1 in brackets times x squared plus b minus 3 in brackets times x plus c. Find the values of a, b and c if p of x is identical to q of x. Now the corresponding terms must be identical. So the term that corresponds to 3x squared is a plus 1 in brackets times x squared. So a plus 1 x squared is identical to 3x squared. a plus 1 equals 3, therefore a must equal 2. Now b minus 3 in brackets times x is identical to 5x, which implies that b minus 3 equals 5 and therefore b equals 8. And c, of course, which represents the constant term, is equal to negative 9. Therefore, p of x is identical to q of x if a equals 2, b equals 8, and c equals negative 9.